Welcome to ASMTG. It's a week of control where I'm playing five different control decks I feel are best suited for today's best of one standard. It's our last day of the week and we're going with Mind Splice Apparatus, a fun card that's going to help make all our instants and sorcery spells cost one less every turn this is out on the battlefield. The goal with this card is to make sure we have lots of different spells that are going to have X in the mana cost. Our number one win con is going to be the White Sun's Twilight. We're hoping to make this large enough where we get 10 or more mites on the battlefield, we swing in on one attack to give them the 10 or more poison counters and get the victory. We also have things like Syncopate, which then hopefully we will leave up one blue mana and we'll be able to counter a very large spell that they might have. So in case they have a sweeper of their own, after I've done my White Sun's Twilight, I'll be able to counter that. I then, if I start running out of cards and I need some more, I have the Silver Scrutiny, or hopefully I'm going to be able to draw seven, eight, nine, or even more cards as long as I have that Mind Splice out on the battlefield. The one thing we're going to be concerned about with this deck is being run over. Because of that, we are running a ton of sweepers. Not only do we have the four copies of the White Sun's Twilight, but we also have six other sweepers. The sweeper of choice though in this deck is going to be depopulate. The reason for this is I don't have any creatures in this deck. I don't have a lot of that one for one removal. So if I get attacked and they're on the play, they're super aggressive. I need to make sure on turn four, I'm able to sweep their board. We then want to mix up our sweepers a little bit, going with Sunfall, which will exile their creatures, which is very important. It's the preferred method, but depopulate's a little too valuable. Need that uh, number or that four drop with sunfall though i create a little win con by creating my incubate token which hopefully then i could swing in maybe for the victory with that we have one copy of farewell because there's a lot of enchantments going out there and i might need to get rid of some graveyards as well the only thing I really care about my graveyard for is because I have one copy of Devious Cover-Up. The idea here is maybe put a few of my sweepers back into my deck, maybe some of my life gang, or our win con. So the idea is one copy, and if I happen to empty out my graveyard, it won't be the biggest deal in the world, but that's why I do have that one counter spell in there. The rest of it is to make sure I gang some life. So we have two copies of Sunset Revelry. We're gonna gang four life, Put a couple of those 1-1 one, one little chump blockers on the battlefield to give me a few extra turns so I can put out my sweeper. And then you need the third path we've used earlier this week and it performed excellent for us. The goal here is we're going to be gaining probably five or more life off of it plus drawing that card. It's going to help us stabilize. Once again, give us a little bit more time to make sure we get our sweeper down. If you're watching this video, I would appreciate it if you would drop a like. It helps me out a ton and it's free and easy for you. Also, leave a comment. What do you think of this build? What do you like? What don't you like? What cards am I forgetting about and that I should be adding in? Also, consider becoming a fellow nerd assassin with me by subscribing to this channel. But most importantly, make sure you stay to the end where I let you know what jujitsu belt this deck deserves. Last day of week of control and game one, and we are on the play. This looks excellent for a nice aggressive deck. Just need that fourth land. At least we have the march though, where we could kill off that crucial creature if need be. That looks like a crucial creature for us. Actually, this is even better. Let's get our chump blockers, get that four life right off the bat, and we get to draw a card off of it. By turn two, to be able to do all that, that is what we want. Coming in. I don't think their Swift Spear is going to attack. We'll take that too, though. Here is the question. I would like to save these for later. Sure, we're going to depopulate next turn anyway. Let's just go ahead and play this. Don't I could save my march for later on. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. I would like to chump lock just to save myself some life, but I really don't want to give him a card. So I think it's a little more valuable. Unless they play another haster, at least then I could spread out the wealth. They draw their cards. They have a play with fire. They might just take care of one anyway. And we're going to block right there. Saves their play with fire. Mind splice. Do we get that going now? 
I like the idea of just getting the mind splice going now. Let's pass the turn. See if they use their play with fire on my creature or save it for their turn. They're just gonna hit me in the face. It's a mono red thing to do. This is the tricky part of this deck though. I'm not sure the proper play, do we sweep or mind splice first? It's a lot of damage. We're gonna take it. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna drop to nine. Happy they played that out. Boy, wouldn't that be fantastic if they messed up and attacked the battle? They won't, but. All right, let's get our Mind Splice down now. But the tricky thing is, do we wanna sweep or play the Mind Splice? I want to start getting my value though. So now it's three mana sweeper. I need to play you out. I can't miss a land drop. Let's go and sweep this board. Still have to do eight damage to me, which could be tricky for him. Pass the turn. Worst case scenario, I still have my march up. I could take care of a one mana creature right now. Lightning strike drops me to five. Okay. My turn. Wow, what a draw that was. So needed. Let's see. We can scrutiny for four and then gain even more life. I like that. Make sure that's right. Okay, leaves up the one white mana. Don't drop my land yet, gain the life first. And now we have swung things. Let's go and pass it. And we could kill a mana creature that is two or less. Four damage to my face. Can't counter it though, that's okay. Nothing else they could do. We just wanna gain even more life here. So do I wanna leave up my counter spell? I don't even think I do. So we have seven, 10, we could do this for eight. And Wincon coming into effect already. We have Mono Red, they had a good draw too. This is a good example of the power of this deck and they run away. Take care now, bye bye then. Game two, we'll go ahead and keep this hand. Drop our tap land just so we have some blue for later. So last game really showed the power of that Mind Splice and right up against Mono Red again. Because on turn four, the fact that we dropped Mind Splice really allowed us to do everything else for the rest of that game. Ooh, we would like some sweepers like we had last game. Get, oh, very happy they put the chick down. Oops, submit zero. Yep, take care of you. Like we exile it as well. Can't be coming back. Think I'm probably gonna ganjo whatever attacks me. Yeah, I hate getting rid of the land, but I gotta keep my life total high enough. All right, no, that's a swift spear. You have to go. Really need the island. Oh, whew. Okay, we're gonna draw two. We're gonna pass the turn for now. They don't need to know what we're gonna do yet. They might think we have a removal. Smell of red, so they're gonna just be swinging in anyway. Attack with everything they have. Squee comes out. No need to hide anything. Looking for a sweeper right now. Let's dig. At least I can gain some life. Gang the life now. There's depopulate. 
All right, let's pass the turn. So I could depopulate into White Sun's Twilight. Oh, nope, can't do it. Okay, that's gonna give me some life gain. That was needed. If all I did here was depopulate on their turn, they would bring Squee back, I would be dead. So lucky for me, Don't need those creatures, but I needed that life gang. Kill everybody. All right, they're gonna bring Squee back. Plays another one out of their hand. All right, White Sun's Twilight. Get a little bit of life gang. We are barely hanging on here. They're gonna get their Squee back now for sure. No, they just have three squeeze in hand. And a burn spell. Drops me to two. What can we do? Play our land. <sighs> Hope we draw a white spell. No, let's just draw two. So no matter what, I could exile their squee. Man, I would really love to draw four though. All right, end the turn. All right, pay my three. Only gonna hit me for one. Has to leave their blocker back. You can bring Squee back now, that is fine with me. Big mistake if they do it, because I can draw a sweeper. We are so close. They do it. Oh my goodness, was that a good draw right there. So they brought Squee back. Now they can't bring it back on their turn. I'm at two life. We're gonna swing in. Gets him to eight poison. Okay. All we need We have to avoid a burn spell. Let's go ahead and end our turn. We avoided it. Need some life gang. All right, we can hold that up for a creature. Do we just draw big? Hope to avoid a burn spell for one turn. It's all we need. Yeah, let's draw seven. No, six. We gotta leave that up. Pay six. We're okay with that. Play our land. Okay, we could gain the life. Back up to six, no attacks. They only have two. I think we've done it. Go ahead and swing in. Blocking all day. I think we have this. Man, that was some nail biting moments there. Two games back to back with mono red and they're exciting. Good aggro test for this deck. Do they realize they're not going to win, so now we're just going to give me the rope? Do we have a salty mono red player? Oh boy. T -t -t Today, Junior! <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. Salty player ropes me.
2-0, and so far it's been beat up on Mono Red. Last game, though, was fairly annoying. Let's get rid of our farewell. I mean, they send me the early good game, and then when I end up uh, turning the tides, then they get bitter, and then they just pull the rope on me. I guess I might be annoyed if I also said early good game. Let's go ahead and pass, just in case this is a human deck. We want to be able to get those 1-1s one as well. Dahlia. That's going to be super annoying for us, though. Let's get our 1-1s, one let's draw our card. No life gang. Have to wait on our mind splice, which does hurt us. Ooh, take a look at our hand. What do they want? Depopulate. We'll just slowly keep ourselves alive here. All right, unfortunately, no mind splice. Hope they don't have another peacekeeper. If they have another peacekeeper to take out my mind splice, then that could be game for me. Another peacekeeper, that's trouble. All right, so we're basically, we we already put back our farewell, so that's not an option. That would cost seven anyway. Basically looking for Sunfall. Wait a minute. They did White Sun's Twilight? Wow. Let's start making these things cheaper. Depopulate's coming down next turn. Big mistake on their part. Do you not realize the power of Mind Splice? Good. Come in. I'm at nine. Start over. We're just beating up on aggro right now. Man, another Thalia. You're killing me. Right now, this offsets it. Now a little extra. All right. First things first. Gang some life. Gang some more life. Get some chump blockers. Pass the turn. Kill Thalia. Might. We're going to sweep this board, actually. Going to go for our win con just here and now. All right, my turn. Let's hit him for one first. And what do we have? We have six, nine. Because of that, it's eight. So I could do it for six. All right, let's see. Can they come at me? Guardian's nice, and a Cathar is nice. Okay, the discard's what's holding it up right now. I'm hoping when I use March, they make a mistake right now. Pay zero, because I have four there. Or wait. I still have to pay two, right? Pay two, submit zero. Yeah, that's how that works. Okay. Ooh. We're gonna get rid of their brutal Cathar. Now they're on a two turn clock, and I have counter spells. That's all she wrote. We're 3-0 so far, and we're finally consistently getting that aggro on our very last day of weak control. And if we take a look at their sleeves, I think we have another mono-red matchup. We'll take this hand for that matchup. We'll see if they're psyching us out with their avatar and sleeves. 
They are not. Swift Spear right off the bat. Which is good. This is our favorite little turn two play. Draw the card, gang the life, get our chum blockers, and we have a mind splice. Gonna need a little bit more interaction though. We're gonna take it. Don't wanna try and double block. They play with fire in my face. Okay, pretty much gonna syncopate anything right now. Unfortunately, just them playing it, even if it doesn't get on the battlefield, is gonna pump them up. We're not gonna block yet. See what creature they run out. They run out no creature. Yeah, we're gonna mind splice. Unfortunately, we didn't get to get that counter. Cause now they're gonna use their burn spell on their turn. Still okay though, I'm at 16. Now is the time to start chumping. Not too bad. All right, we're just gonna block with one. Drop to 13 now. Mind Splice. See if they play any of their instants or sorceries now. When I'm all tapped out. Drops me to nine. Now we're danger. All right, we're gonna have to try and hold off a turn. Let's go ahead and pass. I'm gonna block the Swift Spear no matter what. Think we'll be able to come back from this though. So taking three, we're gonna drop to six and see any burn they might have. Drop to six, do I draw the cards or wait on it? I wanna draw the cards. I could draw three. Yeah, we're just gonna do it. Let them use their burn spell on me now if they have it. They do, I'm gonna drop to four. They could have the final burn right here. They do, nice play on their part, mistake on mine. Which last game actually was not a mistake. They would have burned me out regardless because I would have gone to sweep their board to try and gain life. Then they would have played their two instants anyway. If I was smart, maybe I could have left up just the one blue mana to have been able to counterspell it. I'm not sure if I would have actually done that though. So, uh, don't want any pain lands. Mono red again. We are getting nothing but aggro, but this time, unfortunately, we're on the draw. We're gonna need to have Union just be nice to us. All right, it's going past, nothing we could do yet. No squee, please. All right, we'll take that. That's five damage, drop us to 11, see if they have any burn spells in hand. My turn, let's pass the turn. Hit me for five more. Let's see what they bring out. Really need a sweeper. Squee, 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 squee. Gang the life now or counter squee. Let's think. If I take five, I'm going to drop to six. I think squee is just more important to get rid of. Would love a sweeper. No sweeper. Gaining the life now. 
does put me at risk, but I want that extra, every point of life matters, so I want that one extra point. Next turn, I'll be able to sunset and union. Coming in. Let's gang that life first. Definitely a burn spell in their hand too. That's good. Four more life. And I have two chum blockers now. Not gonna use any burn yet. Back to 19 life. Okay, we're gonna use you as a chump. Maybe we won't use you as a... Oh, they don't have the kicker. Okay. Still taking five. What a pleasant surprise. Yep. Just got to depopulate this right now. All right. Hopefully now we've settled. We still have some life, gang. We would like to draw some land. Still want to play that mind splice. All right, we should be good or mind splicing. Skang our life right now. Don't get anything else out of it, but pretty sure we've now taken advantage of this game. Okay. Leave up three. No, I want to draw more. I want to draw five. Draw five. Well, Mono Red had an excellent start, and then they're just drawing nothing but lands. And we're gonna pass the turn. I think one more turn and then we'll go with our, our big uh, White Sun's Twilight. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just counter you. One, two, three, and four. All my life gang back in there. So this was a good example of shuffle to regards. Yes, I want to do that. Good example of a game where if I didn't have all that life gain, we definitely would have lost it. And let's create that might. But that's what's so fun about these aggro matchups, right? We're on our back foot the entire game. Then we get that big swing and now we're just clearly in control. Nothing to worry about. And six, nine, 12. So we could do you for 10, right? Two, four, six, eight, nine, 12. Yep, do it for 10. Going against another type of deck, obviously I wouldn't have done it for 10. I would have left up some of my syncopates. Not the best hand in the world, but we're going to give it a shot. We have been going against all aggro, so oh, there we go. And time for a little control, maybe. Could be Esper Legends, which is fairly aggressive as well. Nope. Looks like Esper Control. Like to have our two counter spells when we're going against a control deck. Plays nothing. What are they going to do on my turn? Or uh, Okay, they're just drawn one. They could be hunting for land. Usually the only reason you draw only one off of this is because you have no land drop. We'll see if they keep missing. Uh, no, we want this end turn. We could create a might. Huge card in the... Oh, devil. We, we need to counter that, though. 
send you into exile. One good card draw, two huge card draw late in the game, and we are going to syncopate you as well. I think those are some excellent uses of the syncopate. They had the lands though. Wow, good draw, third syncopate. Do you have a third deluge? Or sorry, if you, do you have a third scrutiny or deluge? All right. So my turn, create the might. See if they use their card draw now. They do. Can't counter you. All right. What card draw my own? Do I want it now? What big spell? They could have Kaya, and I don't want that to hit. So we're going to pass the turn. Well, we have the syncopate. We're, we're going to play it a little safer. No, I cannot allow you. So for three. Really happy, though, to take care of three of their memory deluge. This would have been six cards plus all of them flashed back. Does now leave me vulnerable, though, to Kaya. All right. Let's refill our hand now when they can't counter it. So for five. I think I'm just going to get rid of the Union Third Path. Life is not my biggest concern in this game. We have two White Suns Twilight. They're going to gain their own life. I plan on poisoning you out, though, so I don't care about your life, gang. Excellent draw for this control matchup. You're tapped out. Just make them use their sweeper and kind of waste their turn. Hmm. I have to tap four lands. Maybe I just draw some more cards. No, actually. One, two, three. Smith zero. Just going to take care of you. Okay, I can still create a might at the end of their turn. I like this plan. In response. Very nice. All right, pass the turn. Two options here, create the might or draw two cards. All right, create the might. Let's go and attack in. I think I'm gonna start using my White Sun's Twilight. March. Do it for six. Force them to either use their counter spells or force them to use their sweepers here. And the fact that I have two more in my hand. Sunfall. Good use of their sunfall. Luckily, I have March. Do it for six again. Okay. Could have played that smarter and only did it for five in case they have a make disappear. Hmm, they had the hard counter anyway. All right. All right. Now we're going to have to pump the brakes here. Yep. Do I just take the six? Use my sweeper while I can? Yeah, I like that. 
I would like to save the march. There could be a better option for it later. My turn. This is where they start getting that advantage out of the Celestis. First things first. I want to... Uh, probably a mistake. I, I don't need these little creatures. But it will make my sun fall bigger. No, I'm okay with it. What else was I going to do with it? Ooh, look at this stick. And let's sun fall of our own. And I have two mana up. Go ahead and pass. See if they just turn it straight today. I think they will. They do. Cycles. Getting a ton of card draw and they're about to let it go tonight. All right. All right, we want our card draw. Maybe not too much of it though. Let's attack first. Hmm. I actually want to be able to also create a mite. So if I do this, I guess I, I want to do it for five. Yeah, we'll do it for five. That should elicit. No, cancel that. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry, I guess I'm doing it for four, huh? Still want that extra card. All right, leaves up my mana to still be able to create a mite. They're going to Wandering Emperor in response. Now you've done it. Hat's coming off. All right, right now we're playing my in splice. We're not messing around. We're going to get our stuff cheap. They're just going to exile our creature. Again, we're okay with that. We are not worried about their life total. Gets rid of a wandering emperor. Bounces it to my hand. That's just a slowdown, though. We can live with that. And it's going to let it go back to nighttime. Mind splice of their own. Okay. We have a game. I was not expecting that out of them. Boy, it'd be interesting to White Sun's Twilight now just to see if they have the removal. We're not going to do it because I don't want it to flip, so we're just going to pass. They have the oil counter advantage. I really need my counter spells. I used what? Three syncopates already though? Alright, so I only have two counter spells left. May your blade strike true. Need a big might army. Hmm. Tough call. Let's see, my turn. I think I'm going to have to get rid of that Celestis with my March. It is just giving them too much. I need to end that. Yeah, let's end that.
Turn on the auto tapper. We're okay with that. Thing is, if they're also going to White Sun's Twilight, I at least have four sweepers in hand. Man, they do it to us again. Thirty cards. I need those counter spells. Let's pass the turn. Maybe it could have been a spot for my White Sense Twilight. Celestis. See if they double spell or they just turn it straight to day. I doubt they'll tap out like that though. I have got new moves to teach you. All right, my turn. Let's create another might. Let's draw the card off of this. More land. Pass the turn. Not doing anything yet. Immediately flips it today. Probably not going to do anything on their turn, so it could flip right to night. I think it's going to be time for a White Suns on my turn. Guards, to me. Lay down arms. They might not have the sweeper here. It's not going to night. Okay. We'll just make the might, might as well. Doesn't harm anything. I know they're just gonna block. But we're gonna clear this board, so we might as well. Draw our card now. Okay, we could take care of the Celestis again. Do it for 10. Do it for 10. Really wish I had the counter spell. We're going to we're going to get rid of Celestis now. Pay 0. We don't want them. Oh wait, what? One, two, three. Okay. Smith zero. Get rid of the Celestis now. Don't want them drawing any extra cards. Force them in these cards to have their sweeper. Sunfall. <sighs> Intriguing game we have. It's a long, long battle. Wow. I cannot believe they did that. We're going to just draw. Let's see, if I leave these four up. So I can at least create a might. It gives me nine mana so I can draw seven cards. Let's do it. Make sure how they tap. We're good with that tap. Well, that was actually a bad tap for me. I need another blue. Let's end the turn. Discard four cards. One, two, three, and four. Don't need that many depopulates. 
Cycling. Camp. Oh, we have one hard counter. One hard counter should be enough for us. May your blade strike true. All right, I think this is where we take it now. I think we've finally been patient enough, aligned our cards correctly. So first thing we're gonna do, we'd like to just get rid of the Emperor, but I suppose that's not the most important thing. Okay, we have to have four mana up to counter, so that's four. That gives us five, ten, so we could do this for eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Pay eight. All right, let's take a look. We have four mana. We are good with that. Unfortunately, we're not going to do this one swing. It's over. Pass the turn. Cycles. Okay, they're hunting for it. They know they need their sweeper. They get their sweep. What do I have in there? That's good. Okay, they're still hunting. I have my counter spell, which I'll be able to get back. All right. We should be good now. Let's get an extra might. Four lethal. Pay zero. Go and take care of you. Counter spells that. Okay, resolve. We're, we're still okay. Bounce. Welcome back. We just got done with our last deck and week control, and I have to say, I had a ton of fun this week. Control is not necessarily my bread and butter, my go-to style of deck, so it was really great to be able to play with it all week long and kind of learn some of the ins and outs. By no means am I a master of it yet. I'm sure some of you out there, you could play control a little bit better, but it was fantastic for me to do it. It's just like in jiu-jitsu. There are certain moves I might not use, but it's really important that I practice, I learn them, so when I go against them, I'm better prepared. And I do feel after this week, I'm a little bit better prepared to go up against those control decks. So next week, I'm definitely not gonna be playing control, but we will be revisiting these in the future. So as far as how our gameplay went today, we ended up at the end going seven and nine. I only put in six games because one of the games we had against Lesney Enchantments, I drew two land over seven turns. So it wasn't much of a game at all. Game started off fine. I had two lands. I had some interaction, but nothing came after that. Then the other two games, I had one against a ramp deck and one against the Demir control deck. Both of these games took over 20 minutes and they were not very exciting. I know I did put one 20 minute match in this video, but I had a ton of fun in that one and it was probably the more exciting of the three that's why I put it in there. So overall, like I said, seven to nine, so about 78% win percent, which is great. But this deck was a ton of fun. I know it's probably not the absolute best control deck out there, but when you get to do a giant White Sun's Twilight, it is just so enjoyable. I love getting in those 10 toxic counters or those 10 poison counters and finishing them off that way. So as far as a fun factor, this deck is a black belt. Now, when it comes down to what actual belt this deck deserves, I'm gonna have to place it right at a brown belt. I know for some of you that might seem a little high for this one, but with my limited testing, it felt powerful. It seems crazy to get this mind splice into the White Sun's Twilight, but it happened game after game. When I went against those control decks, you would think we'd be in trouble, but I was able to hold off, gain tons of life, constantly just sweep the board. After all, we have 10 sweepers in here. And so I was able to still use these White Sun's Twilight. Sometimes I use two, three, Three. One game, I even had to use four of them just to be able to get that victory. One thing I might want to change to this deck, though, would be maybe adding some more counter spells. But I was overall pretty happy with it. It's really hard for me to adjust anything because I really needed that life gain. You could see in most of my aggro matchups, it was crucial. So again, this deck deserves a brown belt for me. Let me know what you think, though, in the comments. Am I overrating it or does that seem about right? Make sure you stay tuned for next week where I'm playing a whole new style of deck.